Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. Today I will be looking at changing the orientation of rebar as well as curtailing bars. Okay, so before we start, as you can see here, I have a, just a basic slab with a bar added to it, as well as its label. How you can easily change the orientation of your bars. So, bar orientation options can be found in the ribbon under the add bar command. There's a little rebar sign with a, with a little arrow drop down. And then you can see that it says view and curtail. We are interested in changing the orientation, so we go to view. There are a few options. So, the first one is front. So my bar is already in the front view, so if I select this option and then select my bar, it won't change anything. So let's just try that. Okay, so you can see that it hasn't tried anything. The next option that I want to show is the top, is changing into the top orientation. I select the option, select my bar, and it changed my bar orientation to the top view. Okay, the third one is the side view, and once again, select the option and select your rebar. Okay, and then the next one is top flipped. Okay, the next ones are top flipped. Select my bar. And then the second last one is side flipped. Okay, you also have the option to show your bars as dots. Um, they will still then show up on the schedule if you select it that way in the properties. So these dots actually have um, intelligence that are actually seen as rebar objects. Okay, so let's also have a look at the curtailment options you can also access this from that rebar drop down arrow okay so the curtailment options you have is none start end and both okay so just to show you none um actually my bars aren't curtailed so if i select none and select my bar it won't show anything if i select start you can see there the start of my bar is now curtailed this is flag curtailment the reason that it is now set to flag curtailment is because in the rebar setup the flag curtailment was selected if i deselect this flag curtailment the curtailment will just be shown as normal curtailment okay so um, let's also show the end curtailment once again select the option and then select your bar and then also if you want both um, sides of your bar curtailed you can also do that okay so um, that's just an easy way to change your orientation of your bars and add curtailment to the bars thank you for taking the time to watch this video remember Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.